Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off. Uh, we're playing as Wallace. We're going to explore the neighbourhood a little bit as we look for some flowers so we can get our honey business up and running. And yeah, let's do it. Um, also, I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you for all the support on this series so far. You guys have been um, really enjoying it from the, the view counts and the comments and everything. Caught you. Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Oh yeah, no, definitely not. Uh, let's talk to this guy. It is, if you don't mind enemy invasions. What? I beg your pardon? Didn't you get my message? Received intelligence of a major air assault. Expect the sirens to sound any minute. Hope you know where your nearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that, but Major Crum, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know I've made predictions before. But I'm not crying wolf. This time, I've got proof. Proof? Proof of what? Uh, what is that? A pot? A jar? It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Really? I can only see a snail. Of course it's a snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what is she trying to tell <laughs> What is he talking about? Look at her, man. She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day. And that means only one thing. It means she knows trouble is about to strike from the heavens. Right. Law of nature, Wallace. Learned it in France during the war. Never wrong yet. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, that's exactly what I was thinking, you know. Um... Snails can predict imminent airborne disturbances. I never learned that in school. Of course not. They never teach anything useful in school. <laughs> but when you hear the sirens, you know I'm right. Alright, yeah, we'll trust you. Anything nice in here? You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? Yeah. Well, I suppose I was, Major. Bet you'd like to know what's inside. Yeah. I am curious, yes. Ah, this case is packed full of government issue protein bars. Oh, we need that. Protein. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for... Emergencies, obviously. Been stockpiling them since the war. Enough what? nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. <laughs> and very tasty they look, too. Tasty? They're full, but packed with high-strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. Right, so we're going to have to create a civil emergency then. Uh, yeah, this guy's, well, lost the plot a little bit, I think, hasn't he? Uh, okay, we can't go that way. Uh, can we walk past him, or is it literally only down to here? Is that you again, Wallace? Yeah, it's me. Oh, we can, can we go to the high street? There is a high street area. Oh, we can, nice. Okay, so, um, West Wallaby Street, that's where he lives. I was going to say, does anyone remember the name ah, of where Mr. Wallace Bonnie? lives? The oh. sky is blue, and still it rains on yours truly. Oh, now I feel bad. Uh, what do we have? Gorgonzola and stuff. Um... Right, let's go and speak to this guy. Also, by the way, you would not be allowed to make a game or a TV show or whatever calling this guy Mr. Paneer anymore. <laughs> that is just... <laughs> Mr. Wallace, I've got something for you. Much obliged. Ooh, what was that? Some sort of blueprints. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a map. A town map. There's our house. Ooh, it's a fast travel system. Nice. So there's West Wallaby Street, the town centre. Oh, that's really cool. So it's a fast travel system. That's really, really useful. Have you brought it, Mr. Wallace? What, the honey? Not yet. Jeez. Have you come to deliver my order? Uh, it's not quite ready yet, I'm afraid. You're not going to disappoint me. 
Not after yesterday's little incident. Well, I hope oh, not, no. <laughs> you can count on from B to U. Yeah, uh, what are these? That looks like... Can it really be... Jeans? Indeed it is, Wallace. Bensleydale, your favourite. Oh, nice. Am I to take it that these are... Yes, free samples. Go on, duck in. Lovely. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. And one for later. <laughs> of course. Alright, we've got a bit of cheese as well now. Um, can we go in? I'm looking forward to your festival of crumpets, Mr. Paneer. I'm afraid you're barred from my store, Wallace. Barred? Due to the devastation caused yesterday by your invention. I'm ever so sorry, Chuck. Right, well, we can't go in there then. Um, can we... Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Yeah, I know, I know. Can we go into Eddie's pies or anything? Oh, we can actually. Or well, we can look at it. Pity it's closed. Oh, I could murder a sausage roll or two. <laughs> Just eating a load of cheese. Uh, post box. Now that's a fine looking post box. It would make a good chassis for my honey powered vacuumatic. But that's tomorrow's project. Ah, tomorrow's project. I see. Um. So what's this? This is is that Mill Millgate or Milegate Inn? I can't really see the sign properly from here. I think it's Millgate. Wonder if the landlord would be interested in subscribing to my honey service. No, no sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. Yeah, that's true. Let's not get too over the top. We need fifty gallons. Uh, oh, what's that? Could those be? Uh, I couldn't help but notice the flowers on your window ledge, Mrs. Gabberly. Ah, lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially the purple pansies. Always been partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. Ah, blinking weeds, if you ask me. Can't abide them. Oh, go and suck a lemon, you moaning ninny. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, now look what you've done, you clumsy old... And open up that window when I'm yelling at you! All right, <laughs> but only to prove your insults don't get to me anymore. <laughs> I can deflect them all. Is that so? Hmm, I wonder if we can take that flower. Anyway, that seems like a happy marriage, doesn't it? <laughs> I'd be happy to take these flowers off your hands, Mrs. Gabberly. That is, if they make your husband unhappy. That's a good reason to keep them to my way of thinking. But go ahead if you want. Yes! We've got Watch some flowers. Obliged. Excellent. Right, so flowers have been occupied. Which is excellent. Um, newspaper. Oh, he I'll won't. Leave that be. Okay, he doesn't want to touch that. Uh, can we yell up at the window? Hello, Mr. Gabberly! I suppose you've an insult for me and all! No, I've no insult for you. Okay. Uh, so the news agents. Anything good in here? What's this button? Robot Rodent Ravages Shop. Is that anything to do with what happened the other day? Oh, can we pull this? Oops. Here now, put that back up. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, can we push this? Uh oh. Hey, it's not closing time yet. <laughs> wow, okay. I think I'll leave that alone. Right, can we say anything to her? Pardon me, Mrs. Gabberly. I wonder, uh, that is, could you spare a verb? Sorry? Give me a verb, Wallace. An action word. Oh, playing a word game, are we? In a manner of speaking. Oh, well, let's see. A verb. Wait, what? What? Do we need to... Oh, do we have to find a verb? Is that what we've got to do? Or have we got to... Daily lampposts, 
dodo spotted in lift. Well, lift, lift is a verb. How about lift? That's an action. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Now I need a thing. A thing? Aye, you know, something physical you could touch. All right. Something I can touch. Well, what can we touch? Um, toads. We could touch toads. Um, not, well, turkey chew you could, I guess, but... Uh, what about totes? Toad? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. A descriptive word? Uh, I mean, greasy would be pretty good. Greasy. No. Oh, oh, that's a corker, that is. <laughs> Last one. Nearly done. I need another thing. Or, like a person or animal. A person or animal? Hmm, no. Let me see now. A person or animal? Hmm, so... Well, maybe we needed to wait and do toads last. Uh, person or animal? I mean, gentleman. Gentleman? Yes, that's a thing. What was the purpose of that? Hey! What is it now? All lit! A toad, you greasy gentleman! Hey! I am blessed with a healthy coating of grease. Keeps me supple. But gentlemen, oh, that's hitting below the belt. A good solid insult, I thought. But maybe we need to think different. Ah, so I think we've got to... I think we've got to find a good insult then to help her insult her husband. That was a, an interesting... Word game, Mrs. Gabberly. Let's give it Want another to try. Play again? I need a word, Wallace. How about cheese? It's one of my favourites. No, an action word. Oh yes, an action word. Right, so an action word. Batters. What about batter? Fine, that'll do. Now a thing, if you please. Right, a thing. Right, so the toads didn't really work, did it? Um, a thing. Cheap. Grub. Uh, a dodo. Let's try a dodo. Oh, I've got a good one. Dodo. Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. Uh, greasy didn't work. Mild. Cheap. Oh, uh, what about cheap? <laughs> You're good at this. And finally, a person or a thing. Right, gentleman. A person or a thing. He didn't like gentleman, did he? Gentleman? Yes, that's a thing. Well, it is a thing, yeah. <laughs> hey! What is it now? Go batter! A dodo, you cheap! Gentlemen! Chief? Well, I know the value of a pound. Any road. Gentlemen? Oh, that stings! He's proud of being nasty. That's the problem. Right, so but we've got to get nice that's things. That's his weakness, too. Right, so nice things is what he doesn't like. Okay. You've got quite a vocabulary, Mrs. Gabberly. Another round now. Give me an action word. Right, so what's a nice action word then? Um, greasy, no, mild? No, mild isn't even a, an action word. Um, lift, no. Batter, no. Mm, prune pops? Cheap, he liked. Um... Hmm. What one should we go for? Is there anything else we can click on? Doesn't look like it. Savage. You'll probably like being called Savage, won't you? Um. Go. Batter. What about this? How about the verb to stew? Fine. 
that'll do. Now a thing, if you please. Right, a thing. What's a nice thing? Something nice. Uh, what about this? My suggestion would be prune. Why not? It's now not really a nice, though, is it? Word, if you please. Hmm. Mild. I bet he won't like mild. Uh, mild? <laughs> You're good at this. I know. And finally, a person or a thing. A person uh, or a thing. Well, gentleman. He doesn't gentleman? like gentlemen, does he? Yes, that's a thing. To blow yes. Away. Okay, there we go, Stuart Prune. <laughs> we got there in the end. Does that mean we can have the other flower? <laughs> got him that time. Serves him right for being such a grumpy old granddad. Right, can I have this? Would you mind uh, if I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit to? Lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gavily, uh, for business purposes. Business purposes? Well, be my guest. Yes. I've got bunches of them. That's quite a good puzzle, actually. I quite like that. It's pretty different to some of the other puzzles you usually get. Uh, right, police station. The poor Sniffer 3000. I only just put the finishing touches on it yesterday, and it's already fallen afoul of the law. What? What has? If it isn't Wallace. I had a notion you'd be nosing round the police station this morning. Shut up. I, I, I noticed you received my petition for early release of the Sniffer 3000, Constable Dibbins. I love Grummet's yes. paw. And I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. But your blinking cheese detector thing of what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, teething problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical device. You can see that in its face. Can you know? My machine isn't evil, Constable Dibbins. It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified tin can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. Well, how's that going to happen? It can't talk. Oh my god, there it is. So I know the mouse. Prisoner, kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Fear not, my little cheese sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. Sit. That mattress looks awfully hard. Well, just as well the sniffer 3000 goes into sleep mode automatically. Right, so is it in sleep mode then? The sniffer doesn't work that way, Constable Dibbins. You've got to... I'm conducting this interview, Wallace, if you don't mind. Alright, I mean the police station seems like it's just one jail cell from <laughs> the view inside the window. Fear not, my little cheese-sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. Uh, well, okay. Right, let's, um... Let's exit, I guess. Cheeky blighter! It's literally just a jail cell in there with bricks. We've had our little chat. And? I'm afraid there's no talking to your sniffer. Hardwired for criminality, I'd say. Not sure you've come to that conclusion, but whatever. Can we talk to Can him about anything else? Can you see fit to grant my appeal, Constable Dibbins? Not on your Nelly. That heap of nuts and bolts is now but trouble. Couldn't give me a single straight answer when I tried to interrogate it. It only responds to certain commands. I know, I programmed it. Perhaps you could try a gentler approach? Well, I'll have another chat with it. More friendly like. Oh, yes. Oh, much obliged, Constable Dibbins. I ain't promising nothing, mind. 
So can we wake it up then? Because if it's in sleep mode, I'm guessing we've got to do something to wake it up. Time we had a little chat. Look at me when I'm talking to you. So, do we have any items we can use or anything? I wonder if that's... Oh, that's the remote for it, isn't it? Didn't you say it was the remote for it when we picked it up Look in the last episode? Look at me when episode? I'm talking to you. Yeah, alright, alright. Was, was it that, the remote for it? Look at me when I'm talking to you. Wensleydale. Hi, where do you think you're going? I was right about this heap of scrap. <laughs> It's wired for wickedness. Oh, so does it go where it can smell cheese? Is that what's going on? No change, I'm afraid. And its moral compass seems to be badly malfunctioning. Right, so... Okay. I wonder if we can give him some cheese. Fancy some cheese, Officer Dibbins? Don't mind if I do. This cheese, it doesn't come with strings attached, does it? No. Not string cheese, no. It's <laughs> all It's an attempted bribe, that's what it is. I'm watching you, Wallace. No, it isn't. Uh, right, is there any other cheese? Maybe we can give him the free sample cheese, the Wensleydale. Cheesy nibble, Officer Dibbins. Well, well, well. Wensleydale. <gasps> Not attempting to bribe an officer, are you, Wallace? For shame. The great British Bobby cannot be bought off with a cheesy nibble. Right, so that didn't work. Uh, do we have any other cheese? No, we don't. What was the last cheese on the remote? Rotterdam. What happens if we do oh, this? good. The Sniffer 3000 must be out of range. Right, okay. So can we... Oh, there's Miss Sniffer 3000, banged up like a common criminal. Breaks my heart. That cheese detector's not a bad machine, just a bit over keen. It's all the energites in its system. Energites? What's energites? It seems to me, yes. Energites is one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's quick grow muscle formula. Ah. I used my last Energite battery to fuel the sniffer. I'll have to get it back if I want to finish the formula. Right, so we need to do that. Um, c okay, can we just chuck some cheese in here then? Is that is that possible? Oops, missed. All right, well that <laughs> that didn't exactly go to plan. What about this I one? I already did that. Okay, so can we... The Sniffer 3000 wasn't cut out for prison life. It runs on Energize, not porridge. So can we... get it to look at the cheese then, if we... stick it on the Wensleydale setting? Oh no, it's Gorgonzola, isn't it? I've got to get my Sniffer 3000 out of jail. And my energites out of the sniffer. Right, so can we switch it onto Gorgonzola? The sniffer's just trying to get to the cheese, but the machine sounds like it's crying. Oh, almost brings a tear to my eye just watching. Right, so maybe we need some more cheese to get in here or give to the. Um, detective so that we can do it that way uh, so then he'll turn around and look at him I guess when he wants to talk to him uh, but that is going to be where we'll leave it for this time because we're out of um, we're out of time for this episode uh, progress has been made though I like that you can go to town I like that there's a fast travel system as well that's really really good um, I'm really enjoying this I can't wait to play more but that is going to do it for this one so as always guys thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so I do appreciate it make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so and I'll see you all next time